How's it going, everybody? Mike with Cleveland Cutting Board and Furniture Company coming at you with another weekend shop update. And yes, it's official. The floor is done. Sorta. Of. That's right, I spent this fr Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this morning finishing up the floor project. Uh, the plan was to sheet over the other thing with three quarter inch pressure treated plywood. So I came out here Friday morning, I started moving equipment from this side over to that side. And the problem was I couldn't move it because as I was moving it, the floor was caving in. The floor was actually, as bad as it was, it turned out the floor was worse than I thought it was. So. Had a scramble. Um, reality of it is the floor needs to be 100% redone, meaning just going over it like I want to do won't work. I'm going to have to go through, rip the entire floor out down to the floor joist, and then build it back up. Simple covering up the existing won't work. There's just too many bad spots. There are spots that hadn't broke through yet that were bound too soon. So what I ended up doing, I just bought some cheap plywood and just went over what I could, doubled up in some areas. Uh, I think it was 10 sheets I went through at 30 bucks a sheet, you do the math. And I just shot it down with nails. Uh, when we get the new shop built, hopefully April, May, possibly early June, when that gets started, once that new building is done and then everything is out of here, officially out of here, I can pop this plywood up, probably salvage most of it, and then redo the floor using the good quality um, pressure treated plywood. What they used originally was OSB, oriented, oriented strand board, uh, which is not what I would have used for a floor. I'm sure it was like an inch thick, I'm sure it was, well, it was great for, this house was built in 03, 04, 06. It lasted almost 20 years, so. And in and, and, and the, the builder's defense, it probably wasn't designed for as much weight and traffic as it has, so. Anyway, so it's done. I, got, I can actually jump around and the floor's not caving out or anything. I have to worry about breaking my neck. If you watch all the way to the end of last week's video, you'll know what I'm talking about, so. Anyway, so the floor's done enough. It was quite the chore. Uh, it took all day Saturday all day Saturday and part of this morning. Only thing left to do now is organize. If you notice, the bench is turned. This is how the bench was originally when I first set up this shop, but because of the way the bench and the floor condition, it fell through the floor, so I had to turn it 90 degrees. I prefer it this way. I like having all my tool hand tools. This is my primary workstation right here. I like having all my hand tools right behind me here. I like uh, having more space in the floor, less, less wasted space. I have a little bit of an assembly area now I didn't have before, so it's a little, it seems tight coming in, but it's more, it works better for me. So I got that done. The other thing I'm working on uh, besides the floor, which trust me, I'm glad it's done, is cups. It's been a very busy weekend for cups. Um, the Savage Society Axe Throwing Company, they ordered their cups. Um, they ordered six cups, three for the knives tournament and six for the hatchet tournament. So first through third place is getting a cup. I got them all done. I got these all done for them in the Yetis, the good Yetis. Spend the money by the Yetis. I might have said it because I'm a Yeti vendor, but I, I've done the knockoff cups, and in reality, is Yetis are better. They all keep the drink just as cold, but these are built better. Better stainless steel, more dense, better bottoms, way better lids, better powder coating. In my opinion, obviously, I'm biased. I do have some, there has been some decent off brands, but they're not reliable. For every five I buy, I got one that's just a shit and it's not perfectly round. It's got crappy powder coating, so. Yeah, this is where it's at. So anyway, so yeah, so they got those done. Um, I got uh, holiday season as far as summer birthdays and everyone wants their drink cups. So my friend Dan and his wife Denise, they ordered some cups, they turned out great. And then I posted pictures of it in a friend's scene, um, seeing the cup and they have a Tito's drinker in their life. So his name's on the back here. I don't want to show that, but it's a gift, but got this done. I've got plenty of Yetis in stock. I got 20 ounce cups. I got a lot of the highball cups. So highball cups are great. That's probably my go-to whiskey cup right now. So I got a lot of cups done this weekend, this past week. And the other thing is the secret sign of the month. Got that all done. That's going out to my friends, our friends, Matt and Felicia. They bought their first house together. So this is a nice sign I threw together. Uh, it's in cedar. Got that nice smell to it, CNC carved, black letters. Uh, something simple, nothing too over the, over the top, something they can throw in their backyard or something in their, their 
I'm sure if I know them, they're probably gonna have a bar area in their house or throw it out in the garage, you know, wherever they think is best. But I wanna show, uh, those are, they're good friends, I appreciate them. So the secret sign of the month is going out to Matt and Felicia in celebration of their new home. So that's all taken care of for March, March. And I've got the blank done for the April secret sign of the month. So I got a couple people I've narrowed it down to. Um, we'll see, I don't know who yet. I start working on the design and see which design I want to do first. But anyway, got that all taken care of. Um, what else? Slabs. Uh, my buddy Jim, I've got him set up. Uh, he's uh, uh, getting really heavy into woodworking, making tables. So we went over to my unit and my storage unit. He picked out, um, what did he pick out? He picked out a Buckeye slab. And he picked some Walmart, off, Wal Walmart walnut offcuts. He picked those out to do some projects with. While I was there, I broke out and photographed these slabs here. These are six foot tall, uh, 23 to 30 inches wide, Buckeye slabs, uh, two plus inches thick. I'm actually, when I get some time in the next couple of weeks, gonna bring them over and flatten them. Right now, those are for sale as is. They're pretty flat now. Once they get flat, CNC flat, you'll probably have a two, right around a two inch thick slab, which is great for a table. Um, I picture this either being a river pour with the book matched or one slab or the other. I'm only selling them as of now as a set. Uh, if they don't sell on the set for the next few months, I hate to break up the set. I'm not saying I'm going to sell them separately, but no, they're staying together. they got to stay together. So this will make a great table. If you want to make it, I can flatten it for you. If you just want the slabs, the slabs are for sale. If you want me to take the slabs and flatten them, I can do that for you, and you can make the table, or I can do the whole thing. We can sit down and talk about that. So those are great slabs. I don't anticipate them going uh, taking long. I've already got two people interested in those slabs. Uh, but I've learned the hard way you don't stop advertising something until it's sold. So there's one people I'm meeting midweek. They're considering a table. Another guy uh, just wants the slabs for something he's working on. So anyway, so the Buckeye slabs, and I got more of those stuff. I got plenty of, uh, if you guys need live aid slabs, I've got walnut, oak, white oak, and red oak. I got red oak. I have some cherry in stock, some real nice cherry. Um, a lot of different live aid slabs uh, available. And I have access to a lot more. So if you need a slab, let me know, and we can work on your project from there. Um, what else? Ducks. Ducks Unlimited. My buddy Jason, he uh, is really involved with Ducks Unlimited. It's a great organization. He had called asking to buy a couple of uh, the cocktail smokers, and then he told me what they were for. And I just donated them. I gave him two, two of the smokers, two bags of chips, and the two lighters. Something like that. It's a charity I can get behind. I am a big outdoors fan. Nature's pretty cool. Um, so anything I can do to help something like that, uh, so donated those to him and those went up for auction. So I'm waiting to hear back how they did. Hopefully they did pretty well. So I put the Ducks Unlimited logo on there and people like that stuff. So got that done. The other thing I got done was I, since I reconfigured the shop and put the bench back the way it was, I used to work on that end and I had little spots to hold my sander, but now that I worked here, it's not practical to be walking back and forth. So I made a sander holder out of some, uh, some um, offcut of walnut plywood. So it's made for my French cleat system. It's got the 45 degree angle on there, as you can see. There you go, you can see that. And I just, it's three, it's three pieces of, wall, of walnut veneer. And the idea is it goes on the wall and then when I'm not using the sander, it just clips in and holds on there. So works pretty good. Um, something I've been wanting to make, I've been playing around with a couple different designs. I like the idea of the French cleat so I can move it around. I'm probably going to do is make one for each sander and just behind me here on the wall, just line them up. So um, one with the hose and the other. I've got two this size with different strokes. I got a five inch and I got the three inch or two and a half inch. And I, I mean, I got I just nice to have those things ready accessible. Um, people ask, why do you have two, say the two sanders? Well, with Festool sanders, if you look in the back of them, this is my favorite sander. This is their six inch uh, ETS model. There's two different ones, actually. This one's got a five right here. Some have a three. That refers to how much um, movement is in the stroke. Remember, it spins this way, but it also oscillates, so if that makes sense. So one's more for a little more aggressive, one's for a lot finer sanding. So I work back and forth. Do you need both? No. Do you want both? Yeah. So anyway, that was a big project. Not a big project, but just something I've been wanting to get done. I took advantage of it and knocked it out. So that's pretty much it for this week. Moving forward, I am going to get the countertop hopefully delivered next weekend. I think they should be getting pretty close. If not, they got, they got to get over there anyway because I got slabs of flat and I need the big CNC. So working on that. The other thing is I've been organizing and cleaning 
and try not to get too sidetracked, like making things to hold sanders. So the plan is to keep on cleaning. The other thing I have to work on this week is this bench I made eight years ago, maybe nine, eight, nine years ago, out of some it's solid, uh, solid maple. My buddy Tommy got a bunch of it at an auction, didn't want it, gave it to me. The top is four inches thick. The legs are four inches by five inches, something like that. It's heavy duty, um, but by tipping it up and flipping it over and moving it around, it's got a lot of wiggle to it. Not a lot, but a little wiggle. So one project in the near future is going to be reinforce this thing. I got an idea. I think it's gonna look pretty cool and work very well, so. So we'll see. So yes, I want to stiffen it up. It's good the way it is, but now that the floor is solid, and plus being on that solid, that loose floor for all those years, that sloppy floor, it, it wasn't have a firm base. So gonna work on that in the next coming week. My buddy Dustin's end tables, I got one done minus the finish. And the other one I'm gonna work on. Uh, I'm hoping to have those end finished by the end of next week. Uh, the clear coat uh, Osmo hard wax, which is my go-to finish, I'll have that. Those done, and I've got all the metal pieces. I ordered that. They all came in for the gas pipe legs to match the coffee table we did last spring. So getting those out of here. And then I have to start a hall table, a council table. It's a long table, narrow. You put it in the hallway for pictures and stuff. I got one of those to do. And then wedding gifts are coming in. Wedding season is upon us. If you have an April wedding or a May wedding or any weddings this summer and you want a cutting board or a sign, uh, I need to know as soon as possible. Waiting... To, I have blanks on signs. Signs are hard to do last second because of the design time, the CNC time. Most signs, if, if a sign's only got one color like this sign, it takes one day. For every color, it takes an additional day because that's, that's, the color's got to be fully cured for the next step of sealing it and things like that. So, yeah, so wedding gifts. It's got an order from uh, friends of ours has ordered a cutting board for, I think they said their niece is getting daughter. Their niece getting married or their daughter is getting married. Some of their family's getting married, they want a cutting board. So cherry edge grain. So I got the material uh, pulled for that. So we'll get that going. But anyway, that's it. A lot of great projects coming over the summer. I have a couple build videos I'm working on as well. I want to do another sign video. And then I want to do, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I have, I have a couple, not big projects, but little projects I think that'd be interesting to see on a, a build video. If there's something I make that you would like to see how I make it, let me know, a stock product. The problem with big projects and documenting the bill, it takes a lot of time. So it, it delays the delivery time. If I was a full-time YouTuber that had the time, I would not have a problem with it, but I don't. I got to work to make the I make money on woodworking at YouTube yet anyway. So look around the shop. I think that's it. I'm going to get back to cleaning and putting things away. My goal is to be on the couch in the next few hours and relaxing. So anyway, and have a great week. And remember, if you like these videos, it means a lot. Uh, like and subscribe to the, the channel here. That tells me that there's people out there and that I'm not wasting my freaking time. So anyway, and have a great week and I'll talk to you later.